Okay, sorry I uh, forgot to turn on the video camera yesterday. I got so busy. I got about 40 projects going on here at the farm, my friend's farm. So I laid the deck boards. I haven't finished nailing them yet. I'm going to do that this morning. So you want to um, leave a space between each deck board and you can see I've done that. You put a nail in between each board and that gives you space for rain runoff and also these boards are going to swell so over time um, mo many of those spaces will be filled in partially uh, they'll still have room for drainage but you uh, you will get swelling from these boards so basically I just laid them with a little slight overhang on this end very slight and a slight overhang right here and space them with the nails and I'm going to go ahead and finish nailing them off this morning and then get on to the next project in the garden. We're going to do some more gardening this afternoon. So I, when I put these down I only nailed in uh, one nail each each two by six joist and I staggered them and I didn't put them all the way in I didn't send them home because just in case anything didn't uh, line up properly I just wanted to be able to change it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these now and send the other ones all the way home we're sticking up a little bit I'm using my pretty heavy framing hammer here. Now I didn't snap any lines to uh, nail these because I can see through these these cracks to see every joist. So I didn't snap any lines. I'm just lining them up based on what I see on the joist below and also um, the other nails that are already in. I'm lining them up so I'm going to do four boards at once. One, two, three, four. Oh, by the way, these are um, these are uh, ribbed nails. They have little ribs in them. Uh, ideally, you'd want to screw this these deck boards down with deck board screws. However, they're pretty pricey. So this whole box of nails was about 15 bucks, five pounds. Anyway, not sure if you can see those ribs, but there they are. They help keep the nails from popping out. They keep the nails set down. Last nail. Okay, that does it for this uh, stage of the tent. 
platform deck project. Next time we're here, we're going to hang a uh, 16 foot by 12 foot tarp overhead to protect the tents from rain and the campers will stay dry. We're going to string a uh, single string straight across from that tree over to this tree and then do a V shape with the tarp something like that and tie off the edges all the way around. Uh, got our single step in and leveled. Might do a, um, a tie together on the ends just to keep them from spreading apart. So that's it for this stage of our deck project. Hopefully we'll be back in June or July to do the tarp and actually camp out here. Got to head back to Florida now. Um, just in the nick of time, the low tomorrow night, we're leaving tomorrow, the low tomorrow night is supposed to be 29 and a high of only 50, so the temperature's dropping uh, late this week. And now it's time to get the van packed with all the tools and finish up last minute work in the garden and we'll hang the uh, yoga gym over there somewhere for the kids. So yeah, got it. Still got a few things to do before we head out. Here at uh, the gentle little creek in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm not sure if you saw my impromptu bridge yet. There it is. Old piece of uh, two by six. Very old. I doubled it up so it would last a little longer. Oh, uh, one other project I'd like to finish this afternoon. If I have time, I'd like to finish this set of steps leading down to the creek. Started putting these in the other day. Got to move that piece of plywood and then uh, finish the stone steps leading down to the creek. I was digging out a swimming hole right here so campers can swim here as well. Well, not really swim, but wade around in the, in the water. All right, so we're going to work on those steps next. Might actually do another video on those steps. See you soon.